I'm Bill Telepan of Telepan Restaurant, and I'm here to make our slow roasted pork shoulder with some kielbasa and kraut. It's a Telepan family tradition on New Year's Day. So we're gonna get started right away because this is a long dish here. So what I did first was I started off with some diced bacon and I rendered it in a little oil here and it's going for a few minutes so it gets nice and brown. To that, we're gonna add some chopped onion and garlic. It's a good sizzle. Just gonna mix that around for a bit. We're gonna let that cook for like four to five minutes until it softens a little. To that, we're gonna add some apples. So I got some nice empire apples here and we're just gonna grate them skin on. You can peel them if you don't like skin. I always like the texture of the skin anyway, but it's gonna cook for such a long period of time that's gonna make the skin tender. Now you can choose any of your favorite apples, doesn't matter. As long as they're, I like them to be a little more on the sweet side. Because the sauerkraut tends to be a little salty, a little sour, of course. So this will help balance the dish. La -de -de, la -de -la. Oh, my arm's killing me. Where's my stunt double? I'm making latkes. Onion and garlic over here. It's looking good. Almost ready to go. So now we're gonna take our apples. I'm gonna put them in. I take a hint of some caraway seeds. Mix that in well. And then this is the part my family doesn't like so much. Because when you heat vinegar up, it really can be very, very sharp smell. So we got some apple cider, some white wine vinegar. We're gonna cook that down for about, I don't know, till it's a glaze. So we'll come back to that a little later. I took the sauerkraut and I rinsed it out in cold water for about 10 to 15 minutes. And the reason you wanna do that is because the sauerkraut can be salty. There's a little of the brine in there you might wanna get out and it'll really add to the flavor that you may not want to it. So, cause we wanna get, we wanna more focus on the flavors of the bacon, the apples and the, uh, the vinegar. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna squeeze it out. It's a great job for the kids if you want to punish them. You probably make about, I don't know, about four or 500 pounds a year at, tel at our restaurant here. I'm gonna break that up. I'm gonna set that aside. So you want about two pounds of kielbasa. I like obviously a smoked one, works well. One that is uh, got a lot of, uh, you know, good orange color to it. Good smoky flavor. You could also use a fresh kielbasa. Sometimes my mom uses that kind. You want to cut them into thick chunks like this. Kielbasa is one of those uh, traditions in my house. We have it every family function. We'll grill it in the summertime or cook it like this in the winter time. Now to the pork project, as I like to call it. I call it a project because it's a pretty big piece of meat. And it's one that uh, you want to take any sh pork butt, which is, it's strange, but they call, the, call it a butt, but it's actually part of the shoulder of the pig. And then it has a good ratio of fat, as you can see, to it. And when you slow cook it, the fat melts and really makes it, the pork really tender and juicy. So you slide your string underneath, like so. Bring it back under. Pull your string through like so. And give it a couple yanks to tighten it up and then just keep doing that down the line. And that'll hold it in place when it cooks so it'll cook evenly and you're ready to go. Since we're doing it with sauerkraut, it's sort of in the Hungarian style, we're gonna add a little uh, ingredients that we use in that. Um, for the, those flavors from that sort of style of food. So I rubbed it with a little oil. We're gonna do this, some generous amount of salt on it, which is a big piece of meat. And then I'm gonna take a little oregano. We'll spread over. Some garlic. Some black pepper. Some more of that caraway seed. 
Flip it over, do the same. Rest of the oregano. Dried oregano works well, but um, you know, if you get, get your hands on some fresh oregano, it's probably best. Black pepper, more of the garlic, spread it around, get it in there, and the caraway seed. And then a little more salt. At this point, you want to do this like at least one to even two days ahead of time. Just let the salt penetrate into the center of the meat. Let the flavors of the herbs and spices get in there. So you have it in your refrigerator for a day or two. Pull it out at least 20 to 30 minutes before you cook it. Um, we're going to set the oven to 250 degrees, and you're going to let it go for seven hours. So this is something that you want to do in the morning if you're going to serve at night. Okay, so let's check out how our reduction is doing over here. It looks like it's ready to go. So you want to cook down a little, little glazy, but not too glazy. You want to have some liquid that's going to um, sort of mix in with the sauerkraut. So let's add the sauerkraut. Put that in there by hand. And then once we get that all in there, so it's all blended in together, so it cooks nicely. The sauerkraut will absorb all the remaining liquid in there, which is great. So all that flavor is going to get in there. Now it'll be easier to add the mix in the kielbasa. We are ready to put this baby in the oven. I can't wait. This is my favorite meal that my mom does every year. So it's one of the where my brother and I will basically just sort of uh, not eat for a couple days so we could be really hungry and ready to go with it. So here we go. Put it into the pan, press it down. So this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'd say 40 minutes. And then you're gonna cook it, and then after 40 minutes, you're gonna uncover it and let it cook um, until it gets nice, some brown on it, and it get a little crispy. Pop it in the oven. And it'll come out looking like this. So, got some good crust to it. It's the part we always fight over in my house. But it's still soft in the set. Sauerkraut gets tender. You get some of those nice burnt bits, which I love. Taste the sweetness from the apples. A little bite from the vinegar. And a little smoke from the bacon and kielbasa. All right, let's check our pork. There she is. That is absolutely beautiful. Nice and tender. I'd save these drippings. Just, you know, add a little of that to back to the uh, pork is always a good thing. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Plate a little of the sauerkraut on there. Some of the pork. I could just shred it on top there. I'm Bill Telepan from Telepan Restaurant. Slow cooked pork, some sauerkraut, kielbasa. Enjoy. Mm.